hi guys this video is a quick video to tell you about the changes in immersive hood version 2.3 now the main addition is control for the sky ui active spell effects if you're using sky ui the latest version you have already probably noticed that when you cast a spell an icon appears in the top right hand corner telling you that the spell is active now you can actually move that around it's fairly customizable um, and believe it or not it's actually more than just the active spell effects sky ui has now got a framework by which other mod authors can add heads-up display elements anywhere they want uh, but currently the active spell effect is the only one that i know of and people wanted it to be controlled by immersive foot as did i and so that is what i have done if if i go along to the menu the mod configuration for immersive foot by I have set it currently to always be on. That is not the default. The default is to have it toggled and on in combat. The toggle is the same key that toggles the compass. So I've got it set so if I want to quickly look at it, I turn the compass on and I will also have those icons. I've also set it that the default for on combat. So if you go into combat, your, your icons, your spell icons will appear, letting you know which spells you've got active. So that's kind of useful. But that is completely up to you how you want it set up. But now when I go back, that icon will disappear unless I toggle or go into combat, which I'm not going to be doing now. And this is, this is very useful. If I, use my, if I use my dragon skin power, I can see the, that it's how much time it's got left. But when running around, I can hide it. Now, if I go into combat, it just gives me a little bit yeah, more so information. So that's the primary difference. Now, the other thing I've added to this version are a few bug fixes. Well, they're attempted bug fixes. They're not perfect. I will explain. Uh, but the bugs were when you had your bow out and the crosshair active, if you did a kill cam with the bow, or a spell for that matter, the crosshair would remain. The same was true if you went into map mode with the crosshair visible, the crosshair would remain here. And also if you read a book, not from your inventory, but from say the floor or a shelf. As you can see, crosshair is gone. I have fixed this mostly. And I do say mostly because the way the Skyrim scripting engine works, if, if for example you get a kill cam and the scripting engine is busy with something else, it will not give Immersive Hood the control it needs to turn it off. And there is not a lot I can do about that specifically. So at the moment, it, it, 99 times out of 100, the crosshair disappears, but every now and again, it doesn't. And I'm guessing uh, if your system has got a lot of scripted mods running, or your scripting engine for some reason isn't as fast as other people's, you may find the crosshair still remaining behind when you go into a kill camp. You might, more often than me. Not 100% sure. However, the good news is, I'm fairly sure I've got another way of fixing this that is 100% reliable. So I will be working on that for version 2.4. In the meantime, it should get rid of the crosshair most of the time under those circumstances. So that is an improvement. And that's it for 2.3, however, I do have plans for 2.4 already, not just the improvements to the bug fixes, but perhaps some way of hiding the entire heads-up display. If you hold the key down for a few seconds, everything is disabled. That includes health, that includes messages, and so on. That's if you want to get a screenshot and you don't want to have anything interrupting it. Now, as I mentioned, the Sky UI Active Effects heads-up display are the only things currently using what they call the widget system. However, it is possible that other mod authors will be adding their own heads-up display elements using this system. And when that starts to happen, I will probably add new functionality to separate uh, different, ex different aspects. So the active effects are controlled by one thing and whatever the other mod adds is controlled some other way. Obviously I have to wait and see as to what mods are going to come out using those effects. Okay, that's it for this video. I think I covered everything that has been updated. If you want to give me some feedback or ask any questions, it's best if you add those comments to the Nexus page itself. Okay, hope this video helped.